What is up everybody? It is Yorick as always. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's been about a week since my video covering DCS multi-threading when it first dropped and I've been asked a number of times how to access multi-threading for um, Steam and also how to access it on the regular uh, launcher version of the game uh, and also what my VR settings are. So covering the first bit off, when it comes to VR, because I do play DCS exclusively in VR as I covered before, um, I use a Rift S mostly when playing DCS because there's no real reason for me for me to use the Quest 2, I find. Uh, and settings wise, I just have it set to automatic. I don't use the Oculus Tray at all. I don't do anything like that because I just, I don't see a point. I don't really care much for it. Um, you can get way too in depth in it and it becomes a case of diminishing returns. You're putting a lot of time into something where you're only getting maybe a percentage of a percent of performance increase and I don't really care much for that. When it does come to the Quest 2 though I don't uh, connect via uh, I don't connect via link cable or through Airlink. I use virtual desktop and I use the settings within virtual desktop and Steam VR in order to get the best overall performance. And when it comes to Steam VR, I just have everything set to 100%. So uh, just baseline settings. That's how I have it set because to me, that's um, just how I like things to be. So that's the first bit. When it comes to launching the game and multi-threading for Steam, uh, let's open up Steam now um, and go to DCS. I don't play the game on Steam. Uh, I don't think many people do, but if you do, uh, you need to firstly make sure you're in the open beta branch of the build. So how you access that is go to properties, scroll down here, there'll be betas, open up the drop down, and there'll be open beta. Select that. Next, when you hit play the game, it will launch the game in some capacity. It might not bring anything, but what you're gonna to want to make sure you do is have it set to launch in MT preview. The way you do that is if you right click again, properties, general, it will say launch, op launch options here. You select down that drop down, and you'll have four options. You've got play DCS world, Steam edition, launch Steam VR in Steam VR mode, launch Oculus VR in Oculus VR mode or play empty preview. This is the multi-threading preview, so you just select that. When it comes to VR, I'm pretty sure what we need to do is just like with the regular version, you just set it up to launch in vir virtual reality, and then whichever way you play the game, it will launch in that manner. But that's basically how you access multi-threading on Steam. So we'll close off Steam. When it comes to the regular version of the game, search DCS open world if you open up this after updating to the most recent build it won't launch in multi-threading mode you have to right click on this app here open file location or open up the start menus uh, shortcut and right click again on DCS world open beta open file location and wherever your DCS is uh, installed um, you'll notice that it's in the bin folder here and that's where the application lives. So if we go back a level uh, and you'll see that there are two bins, you've got bin dash MT and just bin. So if we go to bin dash MT, this is where the multi-threading version of the build lives. Um, what I like to do is I will, when I launch the game, I will just pin it to my task bar here so that I will always launch in multi-threading. Obviously every now and then when you know that a patch has come out, you'll need to do DCS and then update TCS world at beta. It updates both versions, but just bear that in mind. So we're gonna launch the game. So here we are in DCS world. I'm going to apologize straight off the bat. My hotas is quite squeaky. I really need to re-grease it or just buy a new one because this one's not exactly very good, but it makes do. Um, so settings wise, what we have is an options here. If you want to just pause the video, <clears throat> take a screenshot. These are the settings I have. I'm going to try and keep my head nice and still, but yeah, so those are the settings I use VR wise here. Uh, I just have it like that. This is totally pointless. I don't know why I do this. I just do 
part of me has an understanding that it makes uh, recording the game a little bit easier. I'm not sure if that is correct. I don't use hand controllers right now because, um, yeah, they don't work that well, I think. Um, unfortunately, I can't get the little overlay to display. Uh, I had it working for a little bit, but it kind of just kept crashing out when I went into a mission. Uh, so I'm not going to have that up, unfortunately. You're just going to have to take my word for it. I know it seems a bit jank, but trust me, I have had a horrible time with DCS and VR. We're just going to do uh, my Mirage 2000 because I love my Mirage. I'm not exactly very good with it, but uh, I'm still learning the plane right now. Uh, yeah, we're just going to have everything down because uh, we don't need the skill to be particularly high. We're not really too bothered about skill. We just want to see how it performs, whether there's ghosting etc so i'm going to fly and we'll make sure that we're back in focus start looking pretty today as always i'm hopeful that the audio is coming through right right away shaking my head there's zero zero aws or asw going on Everything is looking smooth. I'm just going to turn this all up. So it looks wacky when you do. But yeah, so everything is just looking good. Using the slow little Mirage to try and catch up with these planes. So yeah, like first things first. These planes above me, they're not ghosting. So one of the things previously is You'd almost, well, it's ghosting. It was they just don't do that anymore right now for me. Yeah, for me right now, the game is looking absolutely beautiful with the settings I have it set up. But yeah, it, it look, it's looking great. The graphics are amazing. Performance is smooth. Potas is squeaky. If we want to, we can go down a little bit. See what our friend here is up to. Yeah, it's look, it's just looking so good. It, yeah, it's just exactly how I always imagined DCS should play and look in VR. But now it's just, ex it just is exactly how it should be. Smooth like butter absolutely butter i can't wait to play this game more now that it just feels so much more um, playable in virtual reality because that's how i want to play the game i don't want to play the game flat screen because i like being able to look down and see the three dimensions of my cockpit and be able to play around with all the buttons with my hands it just feels so much nicer and the, the immersion is so much more like this than it could ever be flat screen. See what's going on, but still like not even a stutter. I mean, the settings I've got, they're not absolutely, absolutely maxed out like they were previously. I mean, you can't really complain. <laughs> to me, I don't think I could complain with this. It's super, super smooth, looks excellent. And uh, I'd be, wee, there we go. I'd be very happy playing this. I'd be very, very happy playing this in its current state. If they told me that this was multi-threading's uh, final build, I'd be very, very happy. Finding out that it's the first build makes me even happier because I know that it's only going to get better from here. That's going to be it from me today. If you want to see more DCS content, please let me know and I will be sure to uh, get it together for you. Ciao.